Across the country, there are young people who are sharing so much content on social media uh, in many places. Um, many of them may or may not know, but they are doing amazing jobs when it comes to production. There are those who will take it a step further to build a living out of it. They will start a journey in um, entrepreneurship around production, filmmaking, or anything else for that matter. For those who want to make a business out of it, we're walking into an amazing studio um, called the Breakthrough Studio. And my guest today on Get Started is Pascal Aka. And Pascal is, um, is, is actually here now. <laughs> hey, what's up, bro? How's it going? How's it going? <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, he's the guy who knows everything about the industry. So my chat with him is quite simple. How do you get started in the film industry? Stay with us. All right, let's go. Two words that mean a lot to many people out there. To young people who have an amazing dream of achieving something great. And that dream of yours is only scarier until you get started. Today, we're having a quick conversation on the film industry. We're talking about an industry that makes everything look amazingly beautiful. It seems like a thriving industry. So for the young people out there who want to get into it, what do you need to do? Are those in the industry making it great? And what are the steps you need to go through? You're welcome to get started with First National Bank with me, Jesse Ejapon. And today, my guest is Pascal Aka. He's a chief executive officer of Breakthrough Studio. He has an amazing, huge studio. You can turn it around in many, many possible ways. And I'm thinking about lots of ways to make it happen, but I have no clue. So I'm here to get started. Pascal, how are you, sir? I'm doing great, Jesse. The uh, place looks huge. Uh, well, when I entered, I was confused. There's white here, there are bricks here, there are There's a black, black screen here. What happens here? Oh, um, this is a creative space. Mm. You know what I mean? Anything that um, you have your imagination, you can create it here. Mm. You know, um, hundreds, literally hundreds of music videos have been shot here in the past three years or so. One word that jumped out, imagination. Mm -hmm. um, Get Started is, is a program focused on tickling individuals who have an idea. Uh, how crazy she won't be crazy to get into this industry? As crazy as it gets, I guess, you know what I mean? Uh, in my case, you know, I'm the youngest of five brothers and all my brothers went into like business, uh, following my father's footsteps. Um, and I decided to go the crazy route of being a filmmaker. You know, um, uh, in Africa, it's not your typical um, career choice, but that's just the idea of going that direction. It's already risky uh, in itself. One, because it's not the traditional route. And two, um, you can talk about you know the financial risk that, that that goes around with it. But then if you just keep moving forward and then uh, you know exactly what you want, then you, you know, it should be fine. How did the name come about? Tell me about Breakthrough Studio. Okay. Where are you now? Are you exactly where you want to be? Uh, the thing about the, the, the word breakthrough, that's actually like uh, something that my father used to say quite a bit in the emails. You know, when you saw me struggling, I kept moving, saw me struggling, he said, Pascal, one day you have your breakthrough. He kept using that word breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. And then when he passed away and I came to Ghana, I, just, I, I had to uh, found a new company and so, so I used the word breakthrough. And that word, it's very significant to a lot of things in your life. You know what I mean? So if you want to get to that door, you know what I mean? And if you don't get to that place and there's something blocking you, you have to break through it. You have to break it. You know, something inside you can be like depression, can be whatever. You have to break through all that stuff. You know what I mean? You're playing in an industry which is quite vast from the, the shooting or technical production of m movies or the music area or documentaries or anything else. What's the terrain like? Is it a money-making terrain? What, what's the most beautiful part of the industry? Okay, first of all, like as a filmmaker, there are a few things that we want. Of course, we want money. Let's get that out of the way. Sure. And two, we want to do some works that we're very proud of. With film, you can just tell stories, inspire a whole generation, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, getting recognized for something that, that, that actually didn't inspire people, that's something that's also very rewarding as a filmmaker. So if I do a job where, one, I get paid, that's nice, and two, I'm proud of the artistic work that I create, and three, I'm able to inspire a generation of people, then boom, I've done my job. You're watching Get Started with me, Jesse Ejapon. We are the Breakthrough Studio. Three things is mentioned so far. The monetary aspect of it is super critical. For any investor, obviously, when you put a dollar into something, you're looking for a dollar plus. And that's the way you make money. Um, secondly, seeing the, the works of his hand being projected uh, on a global scale or a national scale gives him joy. And the third part, which is probably the reason why we're here, is inspiring many across the generations to be able to walk this journey. So let's, let's, let's come back to it. What do I need to get started? First of all, every single day, you have to believe that you already have all the tools you need. The thing about filmmaking, uh, it's like boxing, you know? 
usually the boxer that wins, the one that threw the most punches and landed the most punches. Mm. But you can't land those punches if you don't throw the punches. Mm. You know, so, but you have to... You must throw something. Yeah, you have to, you have to go out there and throw, throw the punches. Your first film is going to be your education. I mean, it can fail. It won't turn out the way you want it to be, but then it will teach you so many things. But to be, to be very specific and technical, every young person out there, if you want to become a filmmaker, go ahead and shoot. Oh, I don't have money to buy a camera. Yes. So rent it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't have money to rent. You have your phone. Mm -hmm. Use your phone to shoot something. Mm -hmm. You people shoot selfies all the time. Boom, instead of shooting selfies, make a story out and of they this have, thing. They have Apple phones that has portraits. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, it's, it, there's no excuse. Now, it's a lot more easier than it was before. And then find a mentor. If you're lucky, you can get with me or not. There's some other people. Um, and you can go online and just learn as much as possible. And when you learn, you do. Learn, you do. Let's talk about partnerships within, within the industry. Uh, people are watching us now. Um, but this is coming as a result of a sound person, it's coming as a result of a, a camera person, it's coming as a result of a lighting person, the entire works. The, to what extent does the right partnership or team collaboration um, support you to achieve your dream? Because a young person starting today needs to build a synergies. How does he get a synergies going? Okay, well, one thing that's important is um, when you're young, uh, networking is great. Networking vertically is great. I mean, it's like, okay, find a mentor, find someone that's higher above you to teach you, learn under them, be in the crew. You know what I mean? There are some people that are in my crew that are one of the biggest music video directors right now. And it started off as some guys that didn't know anything, and they joined my crew for two and a half years and they did the thing. But networking horizontally is just as important. Fair. Because you will never know which of your peers are going to get as big as you once you get higher. Those are the ones that will build you up, mm -hmm. and those are the ones that will like also lift you up when it gets slightly higher than you. Mm -hmm. So when you grow together, that's one of the most important things. But when I come back, um, I, I want to speak to him about the challenges within the industry, the pitfalls you must look out for. Before we talk about the huge opportunity that exists, let's talk about the challenges. So what must you look out for when we come back and get started? We'll continue the conversation. We'll be right back. So in a nutshell, when you get started, what should they look out for? What are the biggest pitfalls they should look out for? Here's the thing. I believe like, you know, not everybody's religious, but I believe there's a God. And then, you know, he created me in his own image. So, so if like he gave me all this talent, mm -hmm. yeah? And if I die and he asked me, Pascal, I gave you skills as a director. What did you do with it? Mm -hmm. Am I going to tell him that I shot music videos about girls, buttocks and everything? <laughs> I'm like, no way. And then also my father as well, who's like really supportive of my career and stuff. I, I just, uh, just a while ago, I thought about it like, is the, the time that he passed away, that's when I started getting serious with music videos. Mm. Yeah, and so will he be proud? Am I even proud? You know what I mean? So I, I don't feel, music videos, I mean, they're great, but artistically, I think it's limiting. Mm. And then um, business-wise, I had a few fallouts with a few artists, I'm not mm. gonna mention their names. Mm. Um, but then, um, because of all that, the artistic limitation, and the financial limitations, because I'm trying to get to a super yes. high level. Mm. The music production space was a good place to start from. Yes. But when you're talking about big bucks and, and making it, making the, the big monies, you had to veer off a little bit into other industries. Yes. Um, was it because of lack of payment, or we're not pricing right, or we, we're not ready to pay the right value for things? Because the young ones starting must know. Okay, the young ones starting must know that Okay, once they are young, of course they'll want to experiment. Yes. And as in like, practice their skills. Because even when I started, I was recording rock uh, concerts. That's not the most artistic, uh, what's it called? Artistic uh, endeavor as a filmmaker, but that's how I practice. Mm. So if you're starting out with music videos, I totally recommend it because that's how you learn. You know, that's how you break through. Yes, that's how you break through. <laughs> that's, that's how you learn your, 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 yes. your craft of the shooting, the editing, the lighting. And that's how you learn also the craft of business as well. You know what I mean? Like how to present yourself, uh, right treatments for your, your clients, etc., And how to deal with, you know, these, these issues, etc. So that's how you start. You're still watching Get Started with me, Jesse of Japan. When we come back, we're talking to him about scaling up. So we've, we've picked the idea of um, thinking from zero into big space. Now we need to scale up. And then we find out from him what kind of support is required for the industry to scale up. We'll be right back. 
You're still watching Get Started with me, Jesse Echefon. This program is proudly brought to you by First National Bank. First National Bank understands the needs of businesses and they are ready to support you as you want to scale up. Whatever investment you may need, speak to them first. Visit any First National Bank branch today to get started. They have the right solutions for your business needs. Now, talking about First National Bank, let's talk about scaling up. Let's talk about the investment which is required within the industry to get them accelerating. So back to Pascal, let's talk about it. Um, breakthrough is doing very well. You've got a, a big space. I'm assuming you're paying some good rent here and there. You've got employees to take care of. And your vision is even bigger than where you, where you are today. What, what do you need to scale up? What kind of vision do you have for this industry? In the film industry, you know what I mean? The potential is always huge. We, we've seen how in Nigeria or in America or so many other countries, how the film industry has helped the GDP, mm. you know, how it's created jobs. Whenever a Hollywood movie comes here, it's a big the amount of jobs that are created through this number. You really understand? Easy. The government needs to see the potential in this film industry. Mm. They need to see the potential in its tourism uh, um, sector, you know? Because with music videos, to me, it was important mm. to use my skills for music videos because it like, that's what advertises. The, the, the country, that's what advertises our culture, our dance, our fashion, you know? Many people want to come back to Ghana. Many people want to invest in Ghana and our music and, and, and in our place. So, why can't the government see that our film industry is, there are large scale commercials for the country itself. You cannot sell your country without films. Mm. Simple as that. You know, um, we heard so many promises, but something needs to be done. There needs to be a grant system where the government says, okay, you guys in the film industry, you're doing it privately, fine. We've seen you guys do it without support. But let's start small. Let's, in, let's we the government invest, let's say 100 to 300,000 Ghana cities, and we want to make a film about this topic, where the, uh, the filmmakers have to be 90% Ghanaian, and we need to see this monument, that monument, that monument, talk about this topic and promote our country. Every filmmaker, apply, send your scripts, send your treatments, and we'll pick the best two. One male, one female, and every year, we'll choose the best one, make your film with that money, and we'll, we'll, we'll show the national theater. At least the government will have one film or two films per year that they are proud of, mm. and we use that to promote Ghana. It pays, anyway. The it pays. pays. The industry, it's a, like, okay, the industry right now is in a transitional stage, and it's not anybody's fault, because America has suffered the same thing. Ghana is a little bit late on that. We're moving from analog to digital. We're moving from CDs to what's in my pocket. Mm. You know, right now, uh, the audience are not necessarily in the streets buying CDs. The audience are right here. Yeah, right there. Yeah. They're inside my pocket right here. But how to get them to buy my film, of either here or like on their computers, etc. It's, it's not there yet. Um, Blockbuster cinema is dead. Blockbuster cinema is like a rental chain where you buy CDs, DVDs of films yeah. and stuff. It's dead. Now Netflix is all over the place. It's digital. You watch a film digitally, Iroquan TV is doing their thing in Nigeria and for the rest of Africa. But gradually when the audience moves to the digital stage, that's when our films will be able to be consumed beyond just the silver bird for just one or two days. Okay. You understand? So there's more we can do yes. um, as a people with the right support and the right investment. Um, and there's a lot more. So it's clear in my mind exactly what you're saying. Um, if the states supported the industry uh, with the right funding or with the right um, door opening, there's more that we can do. Uh, as we wrap up, um, I, I, ha I have a way of, of allowing guests to speak directly to the audience at home, um, to the young people that you've so eloquently summarized the journey for, um, from passion to working for the money, to working at the um, levels where your work is being celebrated, um, to inspiring generation of a sort. My biggest takeout today is on the simplified process, start from zero, get into the music space, get into the movie space, and chase the big bucks. It seems simplified, but if you follow the journey, it becomes great. So at this point, I want you to speak to people at home. Okay, the message I have for you is like, um, at the end of the day, the only person that can make you successful is you. You know, uh, the things that you go through, they're not excuses to stop you, they're just different ways for you to learn how to become stronger. You cannot go to the gym and lift light weight and expect to be strong. You have to lift the heavy weights, you have to challenge yourself in order to become strong. So the, any hardship or anything that limits you right now, 
is just to make you strong mentally, just to make you strong psychologically, to get you to the next level. And it's because they're always gonna come, they're always gonna show up. So if you wanna become a filmmaker, a film entrepreneur, uh, a film, a film, you know, a person that inspires people with film. Start with yourself. Start with what you love the most. Know yourself, explore yourself, and express yourself to the whole world. Because the world wants to see you, the world wants to see what you have to offer, and nothing should ever stop you. Simple as that. Nothing should ever stop you. Um, we're speaking to Pascal Aka. He's the uh, chief executive officer, the number one cameraman, the number one idealist, the number one director at Breakthrough Studio. Uh, he's walking us through this journey. If any of you out there want to be mentored by him or not, um, but if you're interested in being handheld by him, you know exactly where to go. Um, follow your social media handles um, on Facebook. Uh, go to Facebook, send him, send him a message, um, start a conversation. Um, he spoke to us about managing or connecting upwards and connecting uh, on a linear level. If you're looking to connect upwards, you can connect with him. Start a conversation from somewhere. Uh, pick your camera, pick your ideas, write some scripts, do something wherever you are. Share with him. See what he can say about it and let's get our journey started. The industry is great, the opportunities are a lot. We'll continue this conversation as long as we can to enable us to be able to build over 100 or 200 uh, Pascals and Coats for the next generation. Uh, thank you very much for watching Get Started. My name is Jesse Japon. It was great. Follow our social media handles, uh, which are scrolling on the screen right now. And we'll see you next week. Get Started is brought to you by First National Bank. Thank you.